Hey guys, so today we are going to be looking at a few LEGO Star Wars minifigures that have leaked in one of the instruction manuals for a person who got the Bad Batch Shuttle uh, and then some a few others that have just come out in the uh, last couple days. Now, I did a video the other day about the Mandalorian Forge figures and some other minifigures that had leaked around then but in the past two days or whatever since that video uh, there have been a lot more, especially today so we're going to get started with some of the new figures that we can see from the Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser set. So of course you know the main ones that are just repeat. so we'll just get into the new ones being Fennec the Dark Trooper and Moff Gideon. And starting off with Moff Gideon, he's probably the most disappointing, there is no leg printing. A uh, double sided cape though which is pretty cool. The face print looks kind of strange, uh, there's no moustache unless that part there is the moustache, just that would be a bit strange. Um, and the Dark Saber obviously isn't uh, a new mold or anything, so overall a bit disappointing. I think a dual molded hairpiece of kind of like a grey and black would work quite well. Uh, but hopefully we can see a better image of the face print soon, and hopefully there is a double sided expression. Benick on the other hand looks great and actually has arm printing which is a big surprise, uh, and the helmet looks great. Uh, not too sure about the face print underneath and if there's going to be another hairpiece included. Uh, but overall the rifle's there and just looks like an all-round great figure with a new helmet mold. And finally the Dark Trooper also looks really good. I'm pretty sure that that is a helmet piece on top and not uh, a whole new mold. Uh, it just comes with a blaster and from the shot I do like the minifigure form a bit better. Uh, at first I wasn't sold on it but now I do quite like it. Also from the Boba Fett um, new minifigure there is the headpiece. Uh, it's exclusive and it looks quite cool. And that'll be coming in the Slave one and possibly some other sets later on. Uh, so overall some really nice minifigures from Moff Gideon's Cruiser and the Slave one. And yeah, we'll get into a new look at some of the Bad Batch figures now. And from the same pet person who just got the Bad Batch shuttle, uh, we do get a new look at the face prints and some of the other ones. So uh, obviously you can see that they actually bought the set. Uh, and the face prints all look pretty good. We see the Hunter has that dual expression with an angrier face. Tex, other expression, just has uh, no goggles on, which is weird because we haven't seen him in the show like that yet. And Crosshair has that new headpiece. The only problem with that is that there's no hairpiece included, so that's kind of strange. Uh, but overall, some really nice figures, and those head prints just really add to them. And finally, we get a bit of a look at the Bo-Katan minifigure and another headpiece, uh, the other dual-sided expression for her. And overall, this minifigure looks great. Uh, there'll also be a jetpack included, obviously. And yeah, it's just a really incredible figure. The face print also looks really good, and I think that the hair works quite well. So overall, some really nice minifigures in the summer wave. There's also another look at uh, the mall figure, but you know, we've already had lots of those and there was nothing new revealed, so I chose not to include it. But overall, all these minifigures are looking really good. I think there's none more that we really need in detail, apart from maybe Fennec under the helmet and just those other Gideon figures in more detail. Uh, however, yeah, that'll be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be all, folks. Goodbye.